Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe and hit the bell button. Also like, comment, share, all of that would be very much appreciated. I always read my comments and I always respond. I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on Twin Flames. Um, it's called Perception, The Two Yet One, Books One and Two. You can find links to purchase my books from Amazon in the description box below, as well as links to view trailers that I created for each of them. They give hints to the storylines. Or you could also choose to click on the links in the description box where I am reading my first book, book one, out loud to my Facebook following. We've, we are having a lot of fun with that. I've read up to chapter four. Um, I'm going to read chapter five probably tomorrow. Um, so those of you who like audiobooks, uh, there you go. Also, uh, I have uploaded lives that I did on Facebook regarding my story, uh, my mission, why I'm doing this since my books are based on my life. I'm also offering personal readings now, so if you would like one of those, you can find the information for that also in the description box. This is a timeless reading whenever you are attracted to it is when it is right for you. This is the Celtic cross spread, which I read a little differently than others, so I will explain as I go. Okay, Pisces, so at this time, um, you are going through a major change, okay? Now, this is a major arcana card. For those of you who are new to my channel, I view major arcana cards in readings as um, part of your divine blueprint, and the, your divine blueprint is the reason why you have incarnated on this planet at this time, uh, to learn the lessons that you're here to learn uh, to raise your soul's vibration. Okay, so now while this could be a physical death for one of one or two of you, um, I'm feeling that for most of you, uh, this is a major change in your life at this time that is very much part of your divine blueprint. This card is right side up, which means its energy is fully manifested. If it had been upside down, I would say that there is a large change coming that is still a possibility, okay? But it is right side up, so this is happening or happened. It may even have something to do with a Scorpio. This is this, the Major Arcana card for Scorpio. Um, so for some of you, this is a major change that has to do with a Scorpio, or this is simply a major change, something possibly being cut out of your life. Um, so being shown the fish the fish is you there's only one of you there's supposed to be two fish hmm interesting all right that's all I'm getting from the fish huh maybe this is about a relationship for you Okay, so the next energy that I read, um, this was at what is at the heart of everything for you at this time, Pisces. This energy is the energy that is directly affecting uh, this energy. And this is sword energy. This is Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini energy. This card is always red right side up. This is um, Aquarian energy in particular, so this might have something to do with an Aquarius. Uh, we also have the moon energy here, which is very Piscean. <laughs> Now, this can, for some of you, this may represent a shady character in your life trying to steal something from you, but I'm feeling right now this is more of an unstable effort. This is incomplete success due to exhaustion, and that's because of another card that I see over here, um, but um, this can also mean a journey by land for some of you, um, and for others of you, when it comes to uh, business, this could be something like business espionage and lies. Now, the base of the matter or the root of everything for you at this time, Pisces, what we have here is the star. This is another major arcana card. This is all your dreams coming true. This is healing. Um, for those of you in the entertainment um industry this is uh your dream to become a star you know um stars are also like our sun the sun is the happiest card in the deck so this is um your happiness that you are reaching for we also have yet another aquarian influence here you'll see these two cards right here 
So Aquarius and Aquarius, those little wavy lines there. So for some of you, this is really uh, all very, very connected to an Aquarius or Aquarian energy. There could be someone who has a lot of Aquarius in their chart. Um, but for a lot of you, I'm just feeling this has to do with your intuition and your healing and your dreams coming true. Okay, so the next energy that we read here is um, the energy that is moving out of your life at this time. And uh, while this, okay, so this is discs, first of all. Discs are um, earth energy. It's all about your health and your wealth. Um, this may have something to do with a Virgo, because there's a Virgo influence right there. We also have the energy of the sun. Uh, that circle and dot there represents the sun. So, um, and the, the name of the card itself is prudence, which means, you know, um, being prudent with your money, not overspending. So for some of you, um, you did not do this. Okay. Being prudent didn't occur, and for others of you, there's another um, explanation or definite, uh, okay, so this talks also about um, learning a new trade or skill. So this energy never fully manifested for you. Some of you all did not uh, be prudent with your money. Some of you did not further this new talent or skill. You did not go to school you uh, thought about it or something and maybe began it but never finished something that you were um, working on that would have brought you happiness okay which I'm not saying is right or wrong or anything but um, that's what it's saying somehow this is um, poignant for you to understand at this time okay so the next two energies for me as a reader are future cards this is a more immediate future whereas this is a future that will happen after this one and as we re we read clockwise so I have to read this one first well, I don't have to do anything but you know what I mean here we have another major arcana card so this is very much part of your divine blueprint basically destiny things that are supposed to happen um, you'll see that this card is upside down so this is not manifested just yet this is uh, still a possibility Okay, in other decks, this is called temperance. This is all about moderation, not too little, not too much. Okay, so the energy of this uh, mixing of not too much, not too little, you'll see how she's mixing here into this cup. Okay, this is basically the ace of cups right here. And then this other cup here represents, has them represent both the two of cups. And you can see that this is, um, two aspects of a being merging and for me this is my twin flame card okay now we're all our own uh, twin flame which is the balancing of the masculine and feminine energies which we all have inside of us we're all our own twin flame um, of course there are other people out there though that can be our twin flame counterparts in another body okay so you know which one of those is right for you if you are working on balancing your masculine and feminine energies um, you're going this is manifesting for you okay when we uh, learn how to do this grand alchemy of balancing our masculine and feminine energies we become a divine work of art that's what this is called art okay Oh, and for any of you, I was just told to explain trumps. Trumps is another way of saying this is a major arcana. Also, this is the Sagittarian card. So there may be a Sagittarius uh, about to uh, manifest into your life for some of you. It can be as simple as that. Um, but when I get this card, um, it's always uh, all about mixing your uh, masculine and feminine uh, something that is really important that we as uh, a human race are trying to accomplish at this time. Okay, so the next energy that we read here is the Ace of Discs. And this is health and wealth energy. This is Capricorn, Virgo, and um, Taurus energy. And this is um, the Divine Seed. Okay? This is... Uh, uh, a brand new beginning. All aces are new beginnings. 
Okay, so this is a new beginning in your health and your wealth. A new beginning in family. This could represent a new child coming into the family. This could represent a new business, a new way of bringing in money. Um, and since what we have here is how this never fully manifested, the suits tend to connect to each other in my readings, okay? So because this eight never really fully manifested, you're bringing in something new, something or something new is being brought in for you, okay? And um, let's just move that back. It's, it's, see how much green is in this card? I'm being shown all the green. And there are some nice brown tones, but there's gold as well. So the green and gold is very powerful uh, energy. The green is love, but this dark emerald is also healing. Hmm. Yes, there will be. This will be a very healing influence for you. So a lot of you, this has to do with your health, and you know also. Um, yeah, with your wealth as well. Yeah. Okay. There's something interesting over here, but I'm always always getting ahead of myself. I need to, to just calm down here. Okay, breathe. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, so the next energy that we read is your hope card. And here we have another trump card, a, a major arcana card. And this is right side up, so this is fully manifested. This is 20. Tens are endings. And so this is um, basically judgment. Okay, the time has come. It's time for a new era. Or for some of you, something will be resurrected. Okay? But even that brings a new era, a new time. Um, it's, it's time to face judgment. Okay? It's like the time has come. So you guys will know what that means for each of you. And I'm being shown thoth right here and so there's and he's he's green so this has to do with love this is love uh wisdom okay you are learning oh okay i'm being shown these wings you're learning to allow your heart to soar to fly for some of you this is a child i'm being shown these little babies down here and these things that i think they're called yods but they look like little little wombs yeah some of you there's going to be a child coming Oh, yes, and there, here, this this new eon, which is Horus, actually, looks very much, very childlike as well. Ooh, congratulations for those of you who are going to be um, bringing in a new child or grandchild or something like that. It's going to be a new era for you. All right. Now, the next energy that we read here is another eight. So, yeah, okay. So, two eights. This is an eight, and this is an eight. So at some point, whether you want to pause this reading or do this after the reading, you might want to Google angel number 88. I always Google it, Google it 88 angel number. Okay. Now this is also right side up. Now this is when you are just about to give up. Okay, there's times when things are overwhelming for you. And here you are, right here, Pisces. That's you right there, that's your symbol, okay? Now, this is where you kind of emotionally uh, feel like you've had it and you just want to drop everything. But um, notice how this is as the Eight of Cups. All you need is the Two of Cups that is in this card. The, the Two of Cups is present here. Okay, even though the Two of Cups itself as a card is not present here. I'm being told, told to show you that's why I was saying that this is the ace, this is the two of cups, and now um, this is the eight, and all you need is the two of cups. And when you have the ten of cups, that's, that's your happy ending. Okay, so I know you want to give up right now, but I'm thinking that maybe you shouldn't. Okay, don't give up, because there's a new era coming, there's a new seed, and um, also because of your outcome, but yet again I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so this is um, your fear card. Now this is Wands energy, this is fire, this is passion, this is also career. This is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This one in particular has a Leo influence to it and Jupiter up here. Um, so what this is is victory. Um, so 
it could be that there's some sort of accomplishment that you don't know if you really want, okay? Could be this, okay? It could be this thing that you kind of thought about and you put it down, you just didn't want to do it anymore. And then, you know, um, this is incomplete success due to exhaustion. And here what you have is emotional exhaustion, okay? So, but, so whatever, you know, maybe you're fearing having to continue on. But if you do, you'll have this victory. And it'll be very passionate, okay? Um, for others of you, this is you fearing that you won't have a victory, okay? That you won't have this passion, that you won't have this new job, or you won't have this new... Um, new beginning that is obviously right here. Uh, there's a lot of purple in this card, so use your intuition, Pisces. You guys are really intuitive. One of the most intuitive signs there is. Now, here's your outcome. Woohoo! Ten of discs. Discs, uh, the earth energy, it, you know, it's also called coins. Okay? I mean, look at that. Your outcome is basically a happy family, okay? It is a, a happy home life. Your money is good. Look at it. It says wealth. Yet tens are also endings, and that's what you have right here, okay? Now, look at this. Look at how interesting this is because when you're done, when you hit the ten, the next card that you go to is the ace, okay? So there really is a lot of happiness here for your health and your wealth. And even though you've got this happy family, uh, you're going to plant this new seed that's just going to bring you more of this. You know, and for these are these are over here. You know, I know this other discard is over here on its way out, but it just feels like to me that you go from the disc the, the uh ace of discs straight to the 10 of discs. I mean, you don't even fool around in it. You just go, you plant your seed and boom. So, I mean, I just think that that looks really super awesome. It feels really super awesome is what I should say. I think that you've got some exciting things ahead of you here, Pisces. Um, I mean, goodness. All your dreams coming true is right side up. This is what you want. This is what is at the root of everything, right? And, you know, for that to happen, you need a great big change. I know you're feeling tired right now, okay? But there's probably something, see with this moon here, there's something that needs to come to light. Something that your intuition is telling you. Something that's currently hidden. But you're going to find out what that is if you just keep going. Don't give in to this, your energy here, right? This Piscean energy of just like, ah, gosh, you know. I'm so tired, I just want to drop it. I mean, everybody goes through that and everything, but I'm just I'm just hearing that that right now you're full on going, man, I'm sick and tired, you know? But um, don't be afraid of the victory. You've got good stuff coming. Now, here is um, your underlying energy. And so this is the three of discs. This is, um, you know, like I said, this is a Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. But this one in particular is, is Capricorn. And Capricorn is the, um, the entrepreneur. Okay, so this is a new business. This is a new business. It's going to, you're going to team up with someone and it's going to work. See, it's called works, right? And um, see, we have a Mars influence going here. So this might happen like after Mars is done being retrograde or you could have Mars pretty strong in your chart or you could be using uh, your masculine energy to get this accomplished or it is your masculine energy that you need to balance okay so you'll know which is which now let's see what else oh new beginning clarity is coming okay so, yeah, okay, so here's, you know, I'm being shown these arcs right here. These are basically crescent moons. Yeah, you, related to this card as well here, we got, hang on here. 
yeah, like I said, something needs to come to light, okay? And it will. These are both sword cards as well. And, um, whoa, okay, you're going to be the boss. <laughs> you're you're uh, on the verge of... Um, so what I said about this, you guys, um, balancing out your masculine energies, you are just about to. You are just about to, okay? And, oh, okay, then you're, you, then you're going to be really, really wise. Or there's going to be a teacher that comes in. If you decide to pick up this talent or skill, or, you know, going back to school, you might find a teacher out of nowhere. And, um, oh, then your passion for life and your joy for life. There's the sun right there. You're, you're going to be all good. You know what? This is just super, um, super positive. I just feel... You know, I was feeling kind of tired uh, right before I started doing this reading Pisces. And now I'm feeling just like, I don't know, just really excited for you. I just think this is good stuff. So how much, um, how much control do you have over this situation? So for those of you who um, haven't been to my channel before, I, I gauge that by the number of major arcana or trump cards to the amount of minor arcana. Now the major arcana, like I said, for me as a reader will... Um, represent your divine blueprint, aka destiny, you know, the lessons that you're supposed to learn here. Whereas the minor arcana, such as these, represent your free will as a being. Also, I would like to point out, I've been pointing out to everyone, that you can make choices as a, as, you know, a being with your free will and everything, but your destiny will still meet you, okay? You, it's like you're here to learn certain things, and you don't lose those, that, because the universe is awesome like that. Anyway, um, okay, so how many major arcana cards to minor? You have one, two, three, four. Four out of ten cards means that um, you are still mostly in control of the situation, but what's happening right now has a lot to do with your divine blueprint. This major change is your divine blueprint. These hopes and dreams, you receiving them, the energy is right side up. This is for you as well, definitely for your divine blueprint. Balancing the masculine and feminine energies. Like I said, a lot of people, if not everybody, are attempting to is attempting to do this at this time. It's a very important thing right now for us as a human species. And then this new eon, this new era in your life, that it is it's time. Something means it's time. Judgment is here. For some of you, this even means uh, you know, the end of a court case, your judgment is in your favor. Okay, so don't give up because the, the, this is a victory you don't have to be afraid of. Everything is going to be really super good. All right, well, um, that's what I have for you at this time, Pisces. See you next time.